Aero Precision. Yeah, it's. Uh, I understand it's garbage. So let me let me explain what I'm talking about. Uh, a couple days ago, I put a picture of a bolt that had just broken in half, locked up the gun. Obviously, uh, the gun wasn't working anymore when I was shooting my AR. So an Aero Precision bolt breaks in half. All right, just take a picture, put it on Instagram. Uh, like, yep, this broke. And the comments were kind of amazing. It was everyone saying, hey, you need such and such bolt or this or that thing. Like, oh, that's garbage, don't you know? And I just want to say, just so everybody understands, yes, I understand that this gun is not good. Um, why am I shooting it then? Because I have uh, four of them, four training. And for me, like what I like to do if the gun doesn't need to work, so if it's not a, not a match gun, not a carry gun, I'm not using it for anything serious. Then I just, I want to shoot it until it breaks. Like I, I want to do that. If it's a, a Glock pistol that I'm just using for training, I'm going to shoot it so dirty that it doesn't work anymore. And I want to see how long that takes. And I think in that process, you do, you do learn a lot. So this, I've got four of these guns, similar in setup. What you're looking at here, uh, this is the last surviving <laughs> arrow, arrow bolt out of the four. How many rounds to, to kill three of them? I think in total, maybe 20,000 to kill three bolts. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really keep too cl close a track. Um, but yes, definitely they, uh, they break pretty good. All three of them have failed catastrophically, and I just replaced the whole bolt carrier group just to get uh, different manufacturers parts in there. I've killed one barrel. Um, not a ton of rounds. It was keyholing like all the way sideways at five yards. Under 10,000 rounds, I would say, or 10,000 would be the top end. Um, other issues I've had with the arrow guns, bolt override malfunctions when they're early on before they kind of get, I think they get broken or something and then they, then they stop doing that. What problems have I had with the, uh, the BCG stuff? Nothing so far. I haven't shot them like crazy, but I've definitely shot them enough where I'd say, yeah, the, the BCG stuff is for sure better than the arrow stuff. But if you're curious why you see me training with, with guns that I don't necessarily think are awesome, it's because I don't have any problem breaking stuff. I'll shoot stuff until it breaks. I'll shoot optics until they break. I don't care. I just I want to see how the stuff works. If the stuff needs to function like a competition, a duty, or a carry gun, then I treat it differently. But for the most part, I'm just out there letting it rip and seeing, uh, seeing what will happen.